welcome back to Big Oggy World. Today we are in the kitchen and it is almost the beginning of August. It's a beautiful day out and it's really warm. So I'm going to do something which is probably not what you'd expect in as much as I'm going to make a soup stroke stew type thing. Um, but it's what I would call a summer soup. And we're going to use this. This is a gammon hock that I've soaked overnight in cold water in the fridge, um, just in case it was a bit salty. So literally what I need to do is just get this on. So this is just an introduction. It's going into my big stew pot because I need a big pot because of the size of the hock. That hock cost me £3.25 from Morrison's. They're all £3.25, doesn't matter what size they are, they're just one price. Um, it's about almost 1.4 kilo on there. And literally what I'm gonna do first of all is cover it with cold water and bring it to the boil and then turn it down and simmer it for probably about two hours. And then we're going to start adding all of the extra stuff. So I'm gonna get it on for now and then I'll be back in a while with the rest of the stuff and we'll talk about what we're gonna do next. But get it on and get it cooking. Okay, so my gammon has cooked for a good couple of hours and a bit. And what I've done is taken it out, taken off the skin and cut the meat off of the bone. Now you can obviously cut it as big or as small as you like. Damn flies with this weather. Um, it doesn't need to be fully cooked because it's gonna go back in now, okay? so. I'm going to add my meat back into the pot, back into the stock, and then we're going to add our building blocks. Now this is a, it's a summery soup, but it is a hearty soup, so it's going to serve at least four, probably six, probably with leftovers, so it's a great batch cook job. So into that we are going to add a large onion. It doesn't need to be a massive one because we're also going to add two leeks in they go then we're going to add half of a swede chopped into chunks four carrots about six small potatoes now if they're not too big like that's a half that's perfect but if they are too big, then cut them into quarters. So I'm adding some celery. Add as much celery or as little as you like. I'm not keen on celery, so I've got like two sticks. But if you want to put like three or four in, go for it. And I always leave mine quite chunky so that I can pick it out. John will eat it, but I don't really like it. So, and then in go the spuds. Now, at this point, I would suggest Obviously stir it all up. Because we've used the ham stock, be very careful about adding seasonings because quite often these ham hocks are quite salty. Now if your stock is a little bit salty, because you've just added all those vegetables, the vegetables are gonna suck some of the salt out of the soup. So it shouldn't be salty at the end, but that's what I'm saying. Don't add seasoning to it. You can add pepper, obviously, until you're sure, okay? So by all means, let it cook now. You're gonna to need to let it cook for a good 25 minutes to half an hour. Sort of bring it to a boil-ish and then let it simmer like you would, you know, as if you were gonna boil vegetables. And then once your vegetables are soft, then taste the liquor and if it needs a little bit of salt, add it. But if it doesn't, then you haven't done anything wrong, have you? You haven't, you haven't made it worse. Now, the next thing that's gonna go in is pearl barley. Um, John will put all of the recipe ingredients down below, but this is a really sort of like throw it together, do it your own thing type of um, soup. I'm using 150 grams of pearl barley, and I'm gonna put that in now. Now, once you've added barley, you're gonna to need to regularly stir this because you don't want it to sink to the bottom and burn on the bottom. 
Then the last two things we're gonna add is fresh herbs, which I'm gonna add about 10 minutes before the end. If I could put them in now, they'll just go slimy and we won't taste anything. So I'm gonna add some herbs in a while. You can use dried if, if you prefer, that's not a problem. I'm gonna add some frozen peas, but I'm gonna add that about 15 minutes before I'm ready to serve. And I'm also gonna add red lentils. Now there's 75 grams of red lentils here. The thing with lentils, if you cook them in salt, they will go hard. So for my lentils, I'm gonna cook them separately in a saucepan in just water, no salt added, until they're soft, which is gonna be 10, 15 minutes, probably somewhere around there. And then I'll drain them and then I'll add them into the soup once they're cooked because once they're soft, they can go hard again if you like. So that's a top tip. Don't cook lentils with salt. It will make them go tough, okay? So I'm gonna to top my stock up a bit because it's a bit low now. So I'm gonna add some more boiling water to that. And we're gonna cook this now for another half an hour or so. And then we'll be ready to start sort of adding um, aromatics and our frozen peas. So I will see you shortly. I'm off to cook me lentils. Okay, so the soup is nearly ready. Um, about another 10 minutes should do it. I have cooked and drained my lentils, so I'm going to bung them in. There we go, give them a mix around. And then I'm going to add in my frozen peas. Now these are petit pois because that's what I prefer, but normal frozen peas are fine. And if you don't want to use frozen peas, it is summer, you can get fresh peas now. By all means, pod your own and use your fresh, fresh peas. So in these go. And that, ladies and gentlemen, are that. So, if you think about it, aside from the vegetables, the meat costs £3.25. You've got barley and lentils in there, as well as potatoes, and you've got leeks, carrots, onions, uh, potatoes, and swedes. So you've got five vegetables in there. And that's gonna do you, if you've got a big family, six at least, brilliant batch cook recipe, nothing in there that you can't freeze. So, you know, eat it one day. We, we'll probably eat it two days on a trot, but if you didn't want to do that, then you can um, freeze it into portions and then have it later in the year. So it's a summer soup as far as I'm concerned because it has gammon, not sort of heavy meats like beef or pork or even chicken actually. Um, and just absolutely delicious. So I hope you've enjoyed that. We're gonna have ours with some bread. I will take a picture of when it's in a bowl for you. Um, but if you like it, give us a thumbs up and come and join us again really soon. Oh, and if you haven't subscribed, please do, because that really helps. So I will see you all again soon. Bye for now.